Maggie, my dog, and I went for a walk this week, and there had been a great windstorm the night before. So there were leaves and twigs and things on the ground. So I picked up a few things that intrigued me, like these leaves, and I decided to, to paint them. And then I thought I would have to mix my paints to get the right colors. So it took me a while to figure out how to get the right green because the paints were different. So I added a little bit of yellow and then a little bit of orange until I got a color that I liked uh, that I thought represented those little leaves. Do you ever go into the forest and see things on the ground and if you like to draw you could pick them up and bring them home and um, perhaps put them in some water until you've drawn them because by the next day they will have draw dried up and you won't have these beautiful leaves to look at anymore for reference so I thought this made a really pretty pattern uh, and I enjoyed drawing these these leaves it was pretty easy to do. I had my paintbrush, my water, my paints, and I mixed a green that I liked. And then I thought, what about those little acorns that I found on the ground? And there was a branch with acorns still growing, which I thought were so cool. They fell off the tree because of a big windstorm. So it was to benefit me so that I could draw them. And there were a lot of little uh, little acorn nuts on the ground. I'm not sure what exactly the name of these little creatures or these little shapes are. I should look it up and find out exactly what kind of nuts they are. The squirrels in the neighborhood love to collect them at this time of the year or maybe a little later when the leaves start falling off the trees. There's a little park near me where there are lots of trees and lots of squirrels around the neighborhood who take who benefit from those trees every fall so now this is a speeded up version you couldn't paint this fast i don't think you'd want to so i was trying to get the right color for the bottom of those nuts so i looked at the shape and i drew they were kind of like little upside down hats with a point pointy top and the with a little bit of green on the end where they connected to the branches and the top of them was like a little green hat as well with a little point at the top so i decided to draw a bunch of these little nuts so i was just having fun now these did not come from a tree with the same kind of leaves as the leaf in the drawing so it was a different tree but I still, I like the shapes. I was experimenting and I was looking at the shapes of them because I wanted to learn about them. Nature is so beautiful and it has so many beautiful little things around leaves and nuts and uh, sticks and twigs, and all kinds of things you can collect in the woods if it's lying on the ground. You wouldn't pull it off the tree though. You wouldn't want to break a branch or take it. Just take things that are on the ground after a windstorm perhaps. Or just naturally falling especially at this time of the year it's fall and things are starting to fall from the trees and maybe they were a little bit loose and that's why they fell down onto the ground so this was my little nature study of with watercolor and then I was thinking about well they look kind of like they need something more and I always like to draw and I have a line pen um, you could use a marker pen at school, um, but I have a micron um, pen which has a very fine nib and um, a marker pen would be a little bit thicker. It wouldn't be as easy to do. I think you would draw something bigger, perhaps make bigger acorns if you were going to use uh, a line pen, but uh, um, a marker, right? A, a, yeah. So I was looking at the patterns on these little shapes. They're so pretty. I know over the years I've seen little books that make these things into hats and elf creatures and things like that. 
in storybooks. But the patterns on these little nuts were, were so pretty. And I started to enjoy drawing the patterns. So at first I was very careful until I got used to exactly what I thought they looked like, those little pointy bits. And the top of them was smooth. The green part was very smooth. So I thought I would just outline it with my pen. I took another look at it, you see? And then I drew a line around the point and made that shape. Okay, and then I speeded up this video so you don't have to watch me do every single nut um, and leaf. So I was just wanting to show you what you could do in a sketchbook just to make little sketches of things you find on the sidewalk or on the grass or in the park or on the ground under a tree especially at this time of the year and if you feel like drawing or painting it would give you something to draw and nature has so many beautiful patterns like those leaf veins in the leaves now they aren't as dark as my black line but they're there and I guess the leaves get nurtured through those little veins. So again, I speeded this up because I didn't want you to get bored. So here we go. We're almost done. A little nature study for a sketchbook. I hope you have fun walking around in the woods and maybe picking things up or at the beach or you never know what you're going to find on the ground. And Maybe you could make a little drawing of it and you'll learn how to draw things that you never thought of drawing before. And you'll get close to nature and know what nature looks like. So there we have it. I think you could probably use crayons too. Maybe I'll do a video using crayons to do the same project. That might be interesting for, when, for children that don't have all these materials that I have. I should make a, a different version. Okay, that's it for now, and I hope I get around to doing the crayons. We'll see. So happy drawing, everyone. Thanks for watching.